Damn. Why? Eh, they didn't do anything wrong, god damn it. Why did you have to do that to the peoples? You fucking bitch. Oh, I can't go, I can't go over there. Fuck. So what's gonna happen? Is Sid gonna go to war now? Then we join? Oh. Writing the wrong. To Sid Sola then. We have a lot to discuss. Give me a sec. I need to talk to the blacksmith. I have something for you. Can I see I'm busy here? Sorry, will it be? Oh, he does he not have the knowledge yet? Fuck. Anything else? How the fuck do I use a... Is there a way to switch it or what's going on? Alright, let's... How do I use these? Summon a storm or fireball that circles about to, to climb, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. It doesn't look like I had to be in this form. So how do I use this? See, uh, charge forward, striking all enemies to climb's path and drive me back. Okay, direction. Can be changed mid charge with L1 could be okay. Wait, I don't know how to do it. Wait, what? Why the fuck did Annabelle kill all these people? Just taking a quick breather, and I. Oh, let me let me go check the lore guy. I I want to know what they said about Ifrit now. Clive, was it? That I finally uh, like able to control them. <laughs> and, so well. uses. and how might this old soul? If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Oh shit! Mohammed, I want to know him. The Warden of Light. Oh, so he's the light. I I I actually thought he was electricity. Uh, whose power dwells within the Dion Lissage Prince of Sacred in the Holy Empire. Gregory and Faithful hold the dragon to be a sacred creature, and Bahamut is the most sacred to them of all. Because of this, as well as the protection is granted to them, the icon is loved and revered to be the Imperial's populace. Okay. What's Odin? Like, like what's his? You know, like, every, everybody's like some kind of certain element. Who the fuck is Odin? Like, what's his element? The Warner of Darkness? Okay! Who rides in the battle in, in the top of the special steed, and whose black blade is said to be the sharp enough to split the very sea in twain. His latest dominant, King Barbarus of Wallet. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce the last part. So there's only one last dominant or icon. All right, there are eight icons, but Ifrit doesn't count because he is like the, you know, like the forgotten icon or he doesn't exist. There aren't supposed to be two same elements of icons like Ifrit and the Phoenix. Water and fire, fire aspect. So yeah, who the fuck is the last one? A Leviathan? Or I forgot the other ones. God damn it! It has to be the Leviathan. Warden of Ice, the Warden of Thunder, Wind, Earth. Yeah, it's water, isn't it? Or is that the same thing as ice? I'm not sure. I don't even know anymore. Mark. 
Could it be? Yeah, it, it has to be fucking water. Or th does it count for this uh, for Shiva water? I don't know. Where's the counter and revenge X deck? Yeah, I want to know. Does it tell me what 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 was inside the box? Let's see, Kupka the waking as the dominant, the icon of Titan, thrust in the forefront of Dalmark. Okay, uh, winning him influence over the Republic Army and his uh his policy making, well as a personal fortune. His cre his greatest treasure, however, was was always Benega uh, Harmon. So when the servant of Wallow informed him that his love has been slain by Sid, his fury uh. For the outlaw and his allies knew no bound. God damn it, I wanna know what was inside the box. Was it her head? Like they delivered her head or something? The wall painting found in the depths of the a tolerary under the Phoenix Gate was created. It was what the and for what purpose it is unknown. But the celestial being in the center suggests some connection to the long lost religion. That looks like kind of um Ifrit. Whoa, with the with the hornish, like his horn. I don't know. Maybe he's gonna combine all icons together. You know, like he absorbed Garuda and some of the Phoenix. So maybe if he gets every each of icons' power, he might transform into that. Oh, it look, it it, it kind of resembles him. Damn, we we lost this guy. <laughs> Because of this piece of shits. Because of... Where is she? Is she here? Because of her. So a bitch. Born Dungeons of Azoria, now the Empress of the Holy Empire. It was never... Uh, it was ever her purpose in her life to preserve the Fire Phoenix Sparrow bloodline. For which reason she betrayed her husband. And she might enter the league with the force she judged the mid tier. Now she rules over Missoria as a variant of an imperial province. But she rules with the cruelty and contempt for the baseborn that was unknown to Archduke Elwin's days. She is the scum of the earth, damn it. We lost so many good people because You're of her. You're always welcome, Clive. <laughs> Do you need any help? Clive, was it? I don't know. Go talk to Sid. We might go to war with the Titan now because of what she did. Well, maybe not her. Maybe someone else. Maybe, uh... Barbaris? The, the guy with the Odin? Maybe he did it? To, you know, like, to get rid of Sid? Like, he didn't like Sid at all? This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, 
must but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and cluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the Blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. 
As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the Mother Crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the Mother Crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs>